Hello my beautiful Virgos and welcome to your July 2020 love reading. Let's get straight into it. I have done a pre-shuffle and this is what I can see. You're feeling quite resentful um, at the moment. This is you. I feel like you feel a bit neglected and hard done by the person that you're interested in is definitely neglecting you. We've got the guilty card here, but what is happening for them is they're kind of just thinking about themselves right now and their own needs. Um, they've kind of flown the nest. You know, you're taking care of business at home. Maybe you're taking care of the kids. You're nurturing, you're caring, you're working hard to keep everything together and functioning. And this person's just, you know, they've flown the coup. Um, is that the word? I don't know. And um, they're, you know, they're seeking freedom to pursue their own interests. Now we do have the inspired card. I also saw the word creative. So I feel like they're, and look, there's the bird again in this card here. So um, just up there, see? So I feel like they're kind of um, just thinking about their own pursuits. Um, they're loyal only to themselves, okay? We've got the dog here, which is the, you know, the symbol of loyalty. Um, they know they've done the wrong thing. They do have a sense of guilt, um, but they're also too tired to kind of um, mend things, apologize, um, you know, make good on their promises. They're, they're drained, they're tired. Um, and I feel like not only are you resentful, but you're feeling vulnerable. They're making you feel like um, you're, well, neglected, but unworthy, not enough, that kind of thing, and, and powerless, stuck, restricted, um, not able to move, not able to do anything. They've backed you into a corner, okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say about what's actually going on. So, angels and spirits, show me Virgo's energy in the month of July 2020. Show me Virgo's energy, please. Angels and spirits in the month of July 2020. What is Virgo's energy in July 2020, please? So for some of you, um, your person of interest has even gone away, you know, there's physical distance between you and them because they're pursuing something else. That's what I'm getting from the bird, all right? All right, here we go. Page of Cups in the reverse. You don't know how to speak up for your needs right now. You're waiting for them to apologize and, you know, make up for their behavior. Again, you're feeling stuck, trapped, powerless. You're up in your head. You're, you've got anxieties and you don't know how to make a move. You don't know how to proceed in this situation. Um, Queen of Swords, you're definitely up in your head. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Um, there's cluttered thinking, there's, there's um, analysis paralysis. I, I, see, I think I said that in your last reading as well. You, you feel like your needs aren't being met here with the Four of Cups. This is a card of, about rejection, dissatisfaction, disenchantment, disillusion, all of those things. So you're definitely feeling disappointed and resentful towards this person. Let's see who you're dealing with. Let's get their energy. Let's get their possible star sign. What is Virgo's person of interest, please? Who is this person of interest in the month of July 2020? Show me their energy. 
yeah, they're overworking. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They're more focused on money. They're more focused on, you know, other pursuits. And we've already seen that, okay? Show me Virgo's personal interest, please. Yeah, the chariot. So for some of you, they have, you know, they've gone off and traveled elsewhere. There's physical distance. They're on a mission. They're chasing after success and recognition. Could be dealing with a cancer with the chariot card. I definitely feel like this person isn't prioritizing your relationship. With the two of cups in the reverse. They're leaving you to do all of the heavy lifting, the emotional heavy lifting, okay? This other person, please. Yeah, we've got the full card, someone who's self-interested and gone off on a journey. They're not thinking about the consequences of their actions. They're, they're feeling carefree. They're feeling um, footloose and fancy free. Three of cups in the reverse. Some of them are, you know, going out a lot as in socializing. Maybe even friends are coming before you are, like on terms of, in terms of their priority list. All right, so let's get a bit of a narrative. Let's have a look at the dynamics. Show me what's going on for Virgo, please. In July 2020, show me what's going on for Virgo. Yeah, you're feeling spent. You're feeling like an empty vessel, like you're giving everything to this connection and not getting anything back. That's what I'm getting from the Ace of Cups in the reverse. All right, here we go. Again, Eight of Wands, that could be travel. Um, the tower in the reverse, there could have been an argument, not a breakup, but quite a, an, an argument that caused stress and anxiety, and that's why you're up in your head. And look at this card, the Empress. Look how her crown chakra is highlighted. This suggests definitely you're, you know, overthinking things. You're trying to nurture, you know, yourself and the people under your care. You could be pregnant for some of you with the Empress card. The magician in the reverse. Yeah, you feel like you lack control in this situation. You feel like the other person's calling all the shots and it's up to them to fix things. Five of Pentacles. I really do feel like you are feeling neglected and left out in the cold. There could be a lack of communication, particularly if there's physical distance between the two of you, but also the other person is preoccupied. Um, we have the Strength card here. This is, you know, you are trying to stay strong. You're trying to keep your emotions in check and your resentment under wraps. Um, because the strength card can talk about restraining yourself and taming, you know, the wild instincts within, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like you're dealing with someone who's quite emotionally detached with the King of Swords here. This could be an earth, uh, air sign. Um, but they've dropped the ball and they're probably making promises that they can't keep um, with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, I'm not seeing a third party situation with the Three of Swords in the reverse, but I'm seeing you feel a little bit betrayed by this person right now. And they're being inconsistent, unreliable with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. You know, they're in and out. Um, and Two of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel that's just them prioritizing other things. It's compromising your sense of security in the relationship with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this is your stress and anxiety. Look, this is you. Look at this guy's de demeanor. He's just disappointed. 
he wants that communication. He wants that effort. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice for you, Virgo. Angels and spirit, what does Virgo need to do in this connection? What do they need to do in this situation? What's their simple love advice in the month of July 2020? Interesting. You've got second chances. So, I do feel like this person is going to apologize for their lack of effort. I do feel like this person's going to come back and you're going to need to Think about whether they can, whether you can forgive them and let go of this resentment. Because if you can't release the past hurt and prejudice, then you know you're not giving this a proper chance to survive. Okay, so only true forgiveness will allow the relationship to grow. Um, you're going to need to lighten up a little bit and bring back the fun to the relationship. Okay, because we have why so serious. I kept seeing the bird. So this person values freedom. This person values fun. So I want you to bring that back into the relationship. I want you to flirt. I want you to keep it light. You can't change this person, but you can change the way you react to the challenges within this connection, okay? So think about what you can do to bring about change. Not, you know... How can you change this person? All right, let's see what else we can get in terms of advice. Angels and spirit, what does Virgo need to know in the month of July 2020, please, regarding love? Don't be too critical or self-righteous, okay? Because Virgos can be quite critical and um, you don't want to push this person away any further. Just hear them out. Be a little bit flexible because you want to resolve the conflict. You want to come back together. Um, you want to improve the relationship, okay? So sometimes being right is not really important. Yes, you, you need to set healthy boundaries and understand each other in terms of expectations, but don't be too strict. Don't be a ball breaker. And don't insist on always being right. Okay, here we go. I'm definitely getting that Eight of Swords energy from you. So you, you need to prioritize peace. So that means, you know, shutting off that obsessive thinking. Um, that means getting a good night's sleep. Um, accepting things as they are. You know, they're not good or bad. They just, they are what they are. So it's either accept it or move on. Um, you know, there's a lot of worry at the moment. Um, Leo got that too. Some of you will, you know, decide that this person doesn't deserve a second chance, that, you know, you're compromising too much for this person and some of you will be moving on because the relationship has become quite toxic for you. And it's, you know, it's totally up to you but this card is saying let go of relationships that don't serve you including unavailable or toxic people you deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people okay 
So let's have a look at the likely outcome. So at the end of July, where is Virgo going to be at in their love life, please? Angels and spirit, show me. Where will Virgo's relationship or connection be at at the end of July? What's the likely outcome, please? What is the likely outcome? I do feel like um, for some of you, you will be holding on to this person, Four of Pentacles, in the hopes that things will change. Um, interesting. Can we clarify the Four of Pentacles, please? Oh my God, Four of Pentacles again came out. Maybe that is also spirit saying, don't hold on to resentment. That will only poison you, okay? Um, interesting. I just saw the Seven of Wands. So for some of you, uh, you will be trying to defend yourself and set healthy boundaries, but try not to be too ball breaker-ish about it, okay? I just made up a, a new word. Eight of Cups in the reverse. This person's coming back. If they have, you know, um, flown off like the bird that I keep seeing, they, they will be back in case, you know, you're worried about that. I'm just going to pull one more card. Angels and Spirit, can we please get a final message in love for Virgo for the month of July 2020? What's their love message? Okay, here we go. Two more. And you've got loyal heart in the reverse. All right, let's see. 35 says, Are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Four of Pentacles. Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it's time to prune away who don't, sorry, prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all of your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. Okay, well, I hope that resonated with you, Virgo. I hope you have a lovely month. Leave me feedback in the comment section. I always appreciate that. And if you are interested in a personal reading, check the description box below. All right, see you next time. Bye.